Hi guys, I'm Slasher, and this is my way of playing Viper Hard Support. I think Viper is one of the strongest heroes early on, if not the strongest. The idea with playing him as the position 5 is that you are able to dominate the safe lane and secure your carry a good game. Viper really benefits from being able to kite the opponent, which is why he is much better at being at the safe lane than off lane, where the enemies are usually much farther away from their tower. Now this way of playing Viper has been done a bit before, with Fly doing it in one game and Jenkins also making a video talking positively about it. But it has not really caught on, and you get flamed and reported in pubs for doing it, and the discussion I have seen on Reddit is generally dismissive. One of the main objections is that ok sure Viper may be good early, but later he is just completely useless hero, so you should instead pick say Rubik instead, where you are more useful later. And granted, Viper mostly shines early on in the lane, but I think he is far from useless later. And even let's just say for the argument that he is useless later, I think he has the ability to be so insanely strong early that it is still worth playing. And if you still go with this argument, I think you can apply it to Viper in all positions and say, don't pick Viper at all, he is strong early but useless later. Now you may object to this and say Viper with good levels and farm is good, but Viper support bad. But I don't think Viper is that reliant on items and levels than say a hero as Invoker. So I believe Viper hard support is underrated at the moment and is pretty useful. The way I play it is to max my poison attack spell first, using it to harass my opponent out of the lane or get a kill. Whether or not you then level your nether toxin or corrosive skin spell first is dependent on the matchup and how many stuns you have. So if your team has a lot of stuns and are able to keep the opponent in place, maxing nether toxin may be better than maxing corrosive skin first. But I recommend you at least take one value point in both nether toxin and corrosive skin before maxing either of them. As for items, I start with two fairy fires, three mangoes, a branch and rest tangos. The fairy fires are nice for the extra harass damage and can make you win those fights where the opponent decides to stand their ground. The three mangoes gives life regen and more crucial provides you with extra mana early since Viper runs out of mana so quickly spamming his poison attack. And remember, when using poison attack, you need to do the orb walk. So you click poison attack and then the opponent. In this way the enemy creeps won't hit you even though you are standing right next to them. Later I think there are many solid choices for Viper, which at least one you should be able to get at some point, since position 5 gets so much more gold now than he used to. Generally I would recommend Rod of Aethers, since being able to hold opponents still benefits Viper so much. If they have a carry that you can kite like Troll Warlord, it may be a good to get a Garnemus before Aethers or instead of Aethers. And Glimmer Cape at some point is always good, since you want to be in the front and be a sort of sacrificial sheep, getting all your poisons on the enemy and then either die or maybe narrowly escape. Which also ties back to my point about the hero still being useful later since you can act as the sort of tank slash scout that the opponent goes on first and open up the fight for your allies to get a good engagement. I think hard support Viper really shines versus the current meta of having two strong offlaners that try to shut down the safe lane carry. And also combined with the fact that you now get much more gold as hard support, I think it's a very viable way to play Viper at the moment. But be prepared for narrow minded people being prejudiced against hard support Viper and go win that lane hard for your safe lane carry. Oh and lastly some things I forgot to mention. For your first items after your start items, I will usually go for two crowns if I go Aethers, since the stats are so nice early on for Viper, and I might actually usually go two crowns before boots even. And then I will also go Tranquils and then usually finish my Aethers or go Aghanims. As for talents, I think Viper's talents are pretty bad, but with this build I go Spill Lifesteal, then Corrosive Skin Stats, and then extra Viper Strike DPS, and Nether Token Silences. But at level 20, I'm not sure, maybe it will. it's actually better to go extra damage, even though you are kinda like a support. Oh, and as a final final note, he's a fucking great roamer. Like, he's, he's actually amazing, as you can see, I rotate mids. A lot of times and he is really amazing to gank which makes him it's just great for position five to to be so amazing ganking early.